Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is, I think Thursday. Thursday, August 20th. I can't remember any days now. Devin's work schedule is so weird now that I can't remember the days. Like I usually know the numbers, but I don't know what day it is. It's just confusing. Anyways, I was just sitting here on my couch. I just got done putting um, our dinner in the oven. So if you hear a noise, that's our fan above our stove. <laughs> I'm having to run it because I forgot that the other day we cooked pizzas and some cheese fell off and got on the bottom of the stove. I forgot to clean it. <laughs> so when I was preheating the oven for tonight's dinner, it stunk up the house. But anyways, I am sitting here. I was watching a movie. Uh, it was Flywheel. And now I'm gonna, and it's almost time for Devin to come home. He'll be home in like 30 minutes. So I was crocheting a little bit and I also wanted to announce the winner for this yarn. I did this giveaway a few videos ago. And uh, this is Yarn B Pigment and Fiber. And it's called Raindrop Hum. It is 630 yards of <laughs> a number one yarn. It's an acrylic wool and nylon blend. <laughs> kind of like an ombre effect. I got it on clearance uh, at the Hobby Lobby clearance sale. Was $7.99, marked down to $1.99. So that's a really good deal. Anyways, I drew the winner. <laughs> I did it earlier whilst I was crocheting. I just remembered that I needed to do it. So I did it on my phone, but I did record it. So I'll pop it up. Uh, the winner is Billy Jackson. So congratulations, Billy. <laughs> uh, let me know by email. I'll pop it up on the screen and also be in the description. Send me an email, your address, and then I will get this out to you probably on Saturdays when I'll send it because that's when Devin's off work. Um, Saturday or Monday, whenever we can get to the post office. But I'll get that sent out. But what I'm working on, oh, phooey. I forgot the name of the pattern. Let me bring up my laptop real fast. I always forget to check. Uh, beforehand. I did work on my scrap blanket a little tiny bit today. I think I added like three or four little scrap balls into it. I, was, I watched um, Fiddler on the Roof <laughs> earlier. I, I had seen it before but it had been a really long time. So I wanted to, um, you know, watch it again. I wanted to watch it again you know, to refresh my memory. And it's, it was good. I love that movie. I love any musical. Okay, the, the blanket that I started today, I'm on a blanket kick. <laughs> I told you guys that uh, a while ago. It's called Feather and Fan Baby Blanket, and it was a free pattern, and go figure, I don't have who it's by. It'll be in the, the description box. But I started it with the new Karen Cakes that I bought the other day. It started with like a, uh, it's like a pinky color. The lighting's not the greatest because it's evening. <laughs> and then it went into blue and green and now yellow. But it is like a fan uh, ripple chevron. I like it. it's really easy it's just a two row repeat and you just repeat it to it's the size that you want it to be so i already got it memorized so i'm just sitting there working on it randomly but here's the cake it's a uh, karen big cake <laughs> and it's um called rainbow jellies so i bought two of these and i, I was looking for patterns for blankets that needed uh up to 1200 yards because that's how many of these this is but i'm a little worried i'm not gonna have enough because i already yeah, it says 603 because I'm only a little tiny bit done and I already used up a lot of this ball and I only got two of them. But I don't know, I'm just going to keep going until I run out of yarn and in worst case scenario I'll just have to go buy another ball. But yeah, so I'm using a uh, K hook, which is a 6.5. Yes, <laughs> let's make sure I wasn't lying. And then I did work on my scrap blanket, but it's in its tub. I don't want to have to pull it out. But I'm probably going to sit here and crochet some more on this blanket until Devin gets home. Hopefully the dinner will be done in time. It says it only takes 25 minutes to cook, but our pork chops are really thick. So I'm a little bit afraid that it might take a little bit longer. So I did put them in earlier <laughs> than uh, I would have. Because I normally like try to cook to where dinner's just ready as soon as he gets off work. So he can eat it and it's hot as soon as he comes home. But I don't know if I'll be able to do that today, but it's okay. Jessie is at my mom's. She's going to drop him off tomorrow morning. She has to go to physical therapy over her arm. Um, a few months ago, she got a uh, rotator cuff surgery and she's recovered a lot from it. She's pretty much back to normal, but she's still going to do physical therapy for, I think, two or three more weeks. And, um, yeah, he wanted to go see Granny Paul, so he's been there. And, yeah, tomorrow Devin has to work and then the weekend he'll be off all weekend. And I want to do a picnic, but, um, I was looking at our weather and it looks like it might be scatter rainy. So I don't know. I'm going to have to just do movies or something here at the house. And yeah, I don't know. I will continue making some random vloggist videos. <laughs> I want to do some more giveaways because I have a bunch of giveaway yarn um, stashed up. I got it in a big bag. I'm just going to probably grab out one 
and do another giveaway soon. I like doing little giveaways because it's easier to, for me to ship. <laughs> you know, just put this in a bag and send it instead of a big old box that weighs like 20 pounds. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna wait for dinner to, to cook and crochet some more on my little blanket. I don't know why I'm on a blanket kick, but sometimes I just like making blankets and then I get bored of that and I start making amigurumis and I get bored of that and move on to something else. This pile of amigurumis is out because I took everybody's advice. <laughs> a lot of people commented on the last video about how I should go ahead and try posting my amigurumis on my Etsy shop. So I dug my big bag of amigurumis out of the closet <laughs> and uh, I took photos of all of them next to a, um, a ruler thingy so that I can, you know, so people can see the size of them. And I got all the pictures done. I just have to get them made, the listings. And uh, I'll announce when I do that if anyone's interested in any amigurumis. Because I got a bunch of amigurumis stored up. Um, these are some of the last few. I still got to put them back in the bag. But, uh, yeah, so they'll be popping up on the shop in a few days, maybe, <laughs> whenever I get around to doing that. And then bags, I'm still working on cutting fabric, and then I'll sew for a few days. And then I'm shooting to have new bags in the shop uh, on the 29th of August, which is Devin's birthday. <laughs> he has to work that day, though, so that's, that's no fun. But, um, yeah, so... I'll cut fabric. I could probably get all finished cut tomorrow and then I can start sewing. And then I have a doctor appointment on the 28th. So yeah, probably the 29th is when I can get them up in the shop. And there's going to be some quilted uh, tote bags, Christmas ones. I feel like my sweater's really hot. <laughs> there's going to be uh, regular size drawstring bags. There's going to be some smaller, like uh, small, I guess, drawstring bags. And there's going to be some zipper notion pouches. I've, I've got a lot of random pieces of scrap left over that I'm trying to just use up and I really want to go shopping for some more fabric. I want to get some more Halloween prints because a lot of people have expressed interest in more Halloween quilted totes. So I'll probably be doing that. I might go this weekend and get some Halloween prints, but they won't be in the next update. They'll be in the one after that. I've been averaging two updates a month and I'm going to try to keep it that way because it works out good for me to where I'm not busy all the time sewing. But I do enjoy uh, making bags and I love that people love them so much and I love seeing people send pictures and stuff of them using it and just it's really cool to think that something I made is you know across the country and even sometimes around the world being used by people I think it's so cool <laughs> but uh yeah so I'm gonna be busy this week sewing and uh crafting hopefully working on my blankets and um yeah so I'll pop in every now and then and do a vlogist <laughs> vlogist is already almost over there's let's hear today's the 20th so there's what 11 days left of August it's crazy. Time is flying. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to hop off here because I gotta. I want to crochet a little bit before Devin comes home. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.